I got a U Foods package. I made a, an order last week. It's my first time trying U Foods and I'm very excited. Cassie is a diehard U Foods fan. Will vouch. Ooh, I got roast chicken and gravy. No, that's, that one with slaps. With loaded veg and mash. I think I've eaten like three of those. I think I've got a couple of those, yeah. Roast chicken and gravy. Because I love a good roast. Oh, I got the chopped brownie bites. Yeah. For dessert, because they sound unreal. Ooh, beef lasagna. Creamy. What is that? Bechamel. Bechamel. <laughs> It's the white sauce in the lasagna. I thought that was just cheese. The spaghetti, because they sound Nonas. gun. And then the Kiev. I was so excited to try the Kiev. So I got two of those. I keep losing footage on this camera and it's driving me insane. It just did it twice. Uh, I was saying I'm heading to Bondi Junction now to see Jackson. You guys might remember him from a few years ago. Uh, he's, he's one of my good friends who was, he's a makeup artist, but I haven't seen him for over a year. So I'm excited to catch up with him. So we're going to go for a coffee. I just finished a walk with Cassie. It was lovely. She leaves in a week to go on her four month solo trip. So that's sad, but I'm happy for her and I'm meeting up with her in Europe. So it's not the end of the world, but that's what I did this morning. I was in a lot of pain when I woke up. We were gonna go to the gym and do an F45 class, do like a good cardio session today, but I'm in a lot of pain. So I have a doctor's appointment at 12.30. So I hope that they can figure out what's going on because I'm bleeding for a long time and it's getting worse, which is obviously never a good sign. But fingers crossed they can figure out what's wrong with me. Okay, I need to get Honey more cat food as well, some more wet food. She's such a little snob. She will only eat fancy feast or like fancy food. She hates whiskers now. Whiskers wet food. I've created a monster. But she's my little queen, so she deserves the good stuff, I guess. It's so weird because I bought this stand this um, tripod so that when I'm walking with my camera, it's more stable. But I'm always too embarrassed to take the stand out because it's so much more noticeable out in public. And obviously like I wanna try and be as discreet as possible when I'm vlogging in public. So it's a bit of a catch 22 because it's really handy, but I don't want people to know that I'm vlogging. So I don't really know what to do. Cause I keep just taking it off the stand when I go out in public. Oh no, I've been picking my cuticles so much. I need to go get a manicure. I don't know whether I should go back to lacquer bar, but they're lasting well. It's not focusing. This camera fucking sucks. I need to get a new camera. Definitely need to get a new camera. Maybe this one's just broken. I don't know. little gremlin. Did you knock the basket over? No, you're sleeping in the clean clothes. Okay, I've just gotten home. What's the time? Ah, it's 11.43. I have a doctor's appointment in 45 minutes, so I need to quickly have a shower and get ready for the day. Oh my gosh, I actually have a very busy day. Yeah, shit, I knew I would be running behind. I need to have a shower. It is goddamn freezing. Oh, look at the little sweet girl. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. First 
new foods meal. I'm trying roast chicken and gravy with loaded mash and veg. Whilst my new foods heats up, I will show you the books that I got from Kmart because when can I ever go to the junction and not bloody go into Kmart? It's ridiculous. So I got two of these mixed puzzles for peaceful moments. Uh, they're very cute. I got one for me and one for Cassie. I thought this would be really nice for her to take traveling. It's just got lots of random like Sudoku, word searches, mazes, what's that called? Crosswords. Yeah, I think it's a nice way to like get off your phone, get off technology, but it's not a book that you're reading. Uh, so one for me, one for her. I also got us some pencils, the like click up pencils so that you can erase if you make any marks. And that means that she can also erase the pages once she's done and then redo them later on if she likes. And then the books I got, I got The Bullet That Missed. This is a thriller. I always go on Goodreads and check the reviews. I can never buy a book, like I'll never buy a book based off its cover. I'll pick a book, but I'll never buy, I'll always make sure I read the reviews. Good view, um, Goodreads is incredible. And this had, I think this was like 4.2 or 4.4 and it had like 80,000 reviews. So that will be very, very good. Any of you interested? I got Love Stories by Trent Dalton. Trent Dalton also is the author of Boy Swallows Universe, which apparently is a really good book. I also have that to read, but this is just really cute. Another good review rating on Goodreads. Uh, I thought this would be cute just to like an easy read, a cute read, if you will. And then I got I'm Glad My Mum Died by Jenny Jeanette McCurdy. I've heard incredible things about this. Uh, and I kind of love an autobiography. Apparently it's really interesting, really eye-opening and fascinating. So it's a sad story, but apparently it's also really funny. Okay. okay, this might seem a bit extra, but I am going to Put it on a plate because then it's as if I made this myself and I'm kind of telling myself that it wasn't just a reheated meal. <laughs> Life hack. I'm ready to try. Oh my days. Yum. Oh my gosh. Thank you, you foods for partnering with me on today's video and opening my eyes to the reheatable meal world because I've been sleeping on this. The best part is I was running late between getting home and then my doctor's appointment. I didn't have time to cook anything. This is so convenient. Literally just chuck it in the microwave and it's done in three and a half minutes. Now that is what we call convenient. No supermarket visits. Drop straight to your front door. The hardest thing you gotta do is unpack it and put it in your fridge or chuck it on a plate when it's heated. I do of course have a discount code for you guys because it would be rude not to, of course. Uh, Cassidy you or you Cassidy, I'll have it on the screen, will save you up to $200 across your first five boxes. So I will leave a link down in the description box below. Make sure to check it out. This is amazing. I will show you the meals that I eat all throughout the week and let you know which ones my favorites are. So then by the time you're watching this, you can know which ones to get. But roast chicken, Amazing. Cassie also loves you foods. She said that the chicken ones are her favorite. She loves the pastas. I got the lasagna as I showed before, the lasagna and the nonna spaghetti. I just know they're gonna be so good. 2,000 years later. I, my doctor's appointment did not go well at all. I got some shit news. 
Hi guys, I just wanted to come on quickly and clarify what happened at my doctor's appointment because I am was being very cryptic in my vlog and I know that it will frustrate a lot of you. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, it was a pretty traumatic experience but we found a cyst on one of my ovaries plus a few other complications going on that was leading and causing the bleeding and the pain. Uh, so I had to have an appointment, a specialist appointment at the women's hospital and everything has been taken care of. I may need surgery down the track, but for right now, everything has My battery died. Uh, what I was saying is for right now, everything has been taken care of. Um, my pain is being managed. This is something very personal to me. As I say later on in the video, it's really important to listen to your body. Um, go and get your pap smears. I had to have a let's procedure a few years ago for precancerous cells. So it's all just a bit traumatic for me when the C word pops up. So yeah, it, it's always very scary and very nerve wracking and I've realized that I've been taking my health for granted. So I hope that clears it up and makes a bit more sense to you, but I was unwell and I'm better now and things are being managed and I hope you guys stay on top of your mental and physical and emotional well-being too. I am having another you food, oh shit, another you foods meal. This is the Thai green curry and it's delicious. It's really good. It's a little bit spicy. Um, but I like this one because there's no rice. It's just chicken and veg. So it's a bit of a lighter option. Um, cause I've been eating junk food all afternoon. So I like that it's not too heavy. Oh, I hate this camera. Uh, I'm gonna sign out for the night and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Very successful morning shoot with the towels. She's a bloody trooper. Hi. We got it done. We got oh, so yeah. much content done. We're not done yet. She's slay. Although I don't know if I'm gonna shoot a coffee because it might be cute. I think it'd be cute. Yeah. <laughs> the whatever the boss says. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. I have just gone into bed. I'm watching Scandal. Um, I'm absolutely binging my way through it. I'm up to, shit, I think I'm up to season four now. Holy crap, am I really? Yeah, I just finished season three. I, and I started it like four days ago oh my god it's so bad but it's really good i watched how to get away with murder and i loved that i thought that was so good and this is even better i love this so there's a couple of tv shows i can recommend to you guys if you need something new to watch <sighs> honey says hello to you I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I did not go to the gym. Uh, I'm in too much pain. So I took some Advil and now I'm gonna try and walk on the treadmill. I'm a bit sad. I'm a bit depressed. I'm gonna walk on the treadmill and then I'm gonna clean my part, like, listen, it's definitely been worse. I've been doing washing at least, but I need to take the rubbish out. I'm cleaning, I'm drying sheets. I got a package for work that I have to film next week. You know, it just, my apartment is very much a representation of me right now. It's not terrible, but it's not good. This is going to be the most fucked vlog, like I just, I don't know how this is going to be taken online. <laughs> oh god. 
Hello. I have just reheated some pizza. <clears throat> I got myself some pizza for dinner last night. My favorite, my go-to is uh, made in Italy in Rose Bay. I like it. I prefer like a deeper pan, but I guess like on a weekly basis when I'm having it on a Tuesday or Wednesday night, I like it because it's a little bit lighter because it's a really thin crust. And I get the vegetarian, it's really delicious, but I get it without spinach because the spinach kind of makes it soggy. They use frozen spinach. Currently I was before going through my empties. I've been like stockpiling my empties from the last couple of weeks and I'm doing a bit of a haul on Instagram stories. Um, so I might even, I'll go through and do a haul tomorrow for you guys and show you what my empties are and my thoughts in case you guys are interested. But I'm gonna eat my pizza before it goes cold and keep watching Scandal. Good morning guys, happy, what day is it today? Oh my gosh, happy Friday. I am on my way to hopefully my last blood test for the week. Uh, it's been a pretty fucked week, but I am remaining hopeful. I've woken up today in the least amount of pain. I've woken up in over two weeks now, nearly three weeks. So I'm taking that as a good sign that things are getting better and my body is healing. It's oh. one thing this has shown me is to not take my health for granted and losing my dad to cancer and my watching my mum battle cancer for the last few years should have been reminder enough not to take your health for granted, but Apparently the universe thought I needed another sign and rem reminder. So here is my gentle reminder to you guys to always be grateful for your good health and to take care of yourself and to go get checked, go get your pap smears and your blood tests and go to the dentist and get your skin checked and just do everything that you need to to make sure you're staying on top of your health because it's really fucking scary when you're not and it's also really inconvenient it's expensive it's draining and I know I don't need to remind you guys of this but it is just really important to take care of yourself and the other thing is my friends and family have been so incredible through this time so I'm really grateful for the relationships I have my friends have just constantly been checking in almost overbearingly too much but I wouldn't have it any other way like I'm so grateful for the relationships they have so just remember that if your friends or family are going through something shitty to check in offer to bring them coffee or see if they need groceries or if they need want company to the hospital or driven being driven to an appointment if you can doesn't have to be huge acts of service it can be just a simple checking in how are you doing today do you want to FaceTime but anyway I'm in much better spirits I'm still just a bit emotionally dry. like I haven't had any social interaction this whole week besides doctors or like medical professionals so I've got dinner with Will tonight and a group of people that he's been to this dinner before it's just like a group of Bondi people that go to depot and yeah it's just like people just bring friends of friends and it's a really cool way to meet new people uh, so I know a few people that will be there but I'm going with Will so I've got that tonight I'm a little bit nervous because it might be <laughs> stimulation overload after not seeing or speaking 21 for five days but I definitely need to get out of the house so fuck I'm running late and there's traffic god damn it any hoosers, I'll check in with you guys after my blood test, even though I won't have any results. I probably won't get any results today until, to, oh, I don't even know if I'll get them tomorrow, it'll probably be Monday. 
but if I'm in less pain, that's all I want. A little family picnic. I do not know how these schnitzels will be. I cooked them in the air fryer. Chips are good. Yeah. Chips. I nail the chips. The schnitzel. Oh, the gravy. Oh, the gravy. The gravy. Grieve. There we go. There's the grieve. Do we have to go? Why are we all? It's like a POV. What do you reckon about it? I'm nervous. I think it's gonna be dry as shit. That wasn't my concern. It's gonna be dry as Definitely needs gravy. It's a bit dry. That's right, that's why it's gravy. On the other side of Couchworks. Oh, yeah. South Italy. Yeah, I saw that. I was kind of tracking your location all afternoon. <laughs> I'm just popping around here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, look, it was a bit everywhere. And yet you rang well, you very Yep. And you brought some that gravy's not very nice. Have you your It's chip gravy. Yeah, but what the fuck? It's just really dense. Yeah, but smell, what's the smell? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, for the love of God. I hope I never get to that level of rock bottom. Please intervene. It could happen. Doubt it, but I will. So what, he's an alcoholic, so she gave him a pill instead. Yeah. Perfect. Some people like to watch the world burn. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, should we go get Yochi after this? Yeah. yeah. It's Friday night. Yeah. It's just the green man. Because my chicken breast, my schnitzel, like, I'm, I, I'm juicy. Mm. Is yours alright? No, yeah, mine's good. Yeah. Do not get the Gravox best ever chip gravy. It's not best it's, ever. It's the worst, actually. So Will <laughs> thinks he looks like a gay gangster. Well, he just said he looked like a gangster. And Cassidy said I look like a gay gangster. I thought he was referring to me because I obviously look like a gangster. And then Will goes, no, me. And I'm like, you look gay. <laughs> to which he responded, gangster. And <laughs> 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 he's like, get the fuck out. So we're discussing having sex. Not together. Not <laughs> Let's just make that clear. Not William and I. Um, we're discussing when, when having sex, do you get completely naked? Because we were watching a show and they both had their shirts on. Like they were both still dressed. And I was saying that I'm always, is that not you? Goodness gracious, you're just like, you're just like popping along. I, I swear, I looked at it and I thought, oh, that's Yeah, you did look at car. it. Um, I've got bigger things to worry about. Like us having sex. Yeah, that really threw me. <laughs> um, that's the problem. So yeah, we were, just head towards Surrey Hills. We were discussing if you get fully naked when you have sex, and I was saying that I do, I like to. What about if you're not? Because in the people, a band? the people we were watching on TV, they were both dressed, like they didn't take their clothes off. They both had their t-shirts on, and I just find that very strange, especially when you are in a bed. Like it's very well. It's not very personal. I like skin on skin. Yeah. 
Well, like if I'm having sex in a public place, obviously you've got to make do with what you're working with. Yeah, you don't want to get fully naked just in case. You need for a fast you. getaway. Yeah, um, I agree. In a bed. But yes, I mean I, sometimes you don't always start fully naked. Yeah. You know, it for, can be foreplay. A process. Hmm. Part of the foreplay is undressing, but I was saying. What the reason why I brought you guys into this is because 131060, do you have sex naked? <laughs> Dial in guys. Um let us know your thoughts. Let us know your thoughts. Um, <sighs> what? Just your driving. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My god, I was in the car with someone today, not this uh, someone was driving me today. And a car like kind of came at them and I was in the passenger seat. And I just had a moment where I thought, oh my God, this person is so bad at driving. <laughs> they're, they're going to get me killed. And she turned and she looked at me and she said, you are a much worse driver than I am. I've been in the car with you. <laughs> and I thought, this is what it feels like. It's horrible. It's, yeah, that's what it feels it's like to be your passenger. <laughs> But I can't help it. And like, every time I'm like, do you want to drive? And I'm like, why do I do it to myself? <laughs> I mean, when, <sighs> as, I suppose when I feel in control, nothing's going to happen. Like, I'm in control. Sometimes you're not in control, though. I'm in control up here. <laughs> um, any whoses. Yeah, 131060. Do you feel in control? <laughs> Do you have so sex with socks on? Do you have socks with sex on? <laughs> because I remember reading somewhere once, many moons ago, that having an orgasm with socks on enhances the orgasm. I, now listen, I don't know if that is an old wives tale, I don't know if it's a bunch of bull honky, but ever since then I have been known to have sex with socks on. And you know, the, the only time I don't like it... Did Toe Guy wear socks? No, he was always very specific about taking his socks off. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that throws me about having sex with socks on is when you get into the position where I'm on my back and my legs are up over their shoulders and I'm just looking directly at my socked feet. <sighs> it's like being <laughs> fucked by Minnie Mouse. <laughs> Yeah, but they're my legs. I don't know. It's just, it's just very strange. They so, also um, sometimes <clears throat> don't have a good grip. If you're on... Yeah, never mind. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I can't make sense of that comment. Well, some socks are slippery and sometimes you need a bit of grip. Oh, if you're like standing up or something. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. Well, anyway, that's um our... That's enough of that crass conversation. Yes. I, oh my God, it's going really hard. I have a face mask on and a hair mask in. Well, another hair mask. I had the Georgie Main hydrating hair mask in yesterday and today. And now I've washed my hair and I've put in my Christoph, Christoph Robin purple shampoo, the baby blonde. And this is like a hair mask and it tones and hydrates. It's incredible for your hair. And that's what I use as my conditioner. And this is the Caudalie. What is it? It's really, it's one of their most popular face masks. It's incredible. The Instant Detox Mask. It's this little ready one. And it cleanses impurities and tightens pores. And when it's sucking the oil out, you can see all those little dots is oil. Yeah, look at that. That's all my pores. And it's sucking all the oil out. I'm just going to wait for this mask to set and then I'm going to get back in the shower, rinse this purple shampoo out. And then I'm going to dry my hair and straighten it. Here is Miss Honey. She's already in bed. The little darling. And that is what I'm doing. Will and I went and got Yochi. Now I'm home. It's a very chilled, quiet Friday night.
Cassidy McGill in action. <laughs> Cassie made me cry. I did. I made her cry. It was very awkward. I didn't know what to do. Two January Aquarius is here. <laughs> we don't deal with emotion. My dog.